What's up, YouTube? This is on the Mongoose Ledge X2. I'll be talking about uh, some modifications I've done. Basically, the only thing left that stock would be the frame, um, the head seat, and the crank. And that's about it. So, <clears throat> sorry about my voice. I'm getting over a, a code here, so. We start on the top here and we'll work our way down here. Um, first off here, we have uh, some Seplas, I believe is the name for the grips. Right here, we got the $80 Maroka four piston uh, hydraulic brake set. Um, I can't complain for 80 bucks. I mean, if you're looking for a you know, if you can get the MT200s for, for for about that price, I'd do it. But, I mean, how, how they're running right now, it's pretty expensive. And this guy right here is hard to beat at the moment here. So, moving across here, we've got the 120 weight handlebar here. Um, I do have uh, the Race Face 740 coming in here soon. Uh, hooked up with a Uno uh, On the other side, pretty much the same thing. We have the Transx dropper hooked up to the KNS. Um, works pretty well. <coughs> Work down to uh, I guess the the most expensive, um, most expensive um, aftermarket or most expensive uh, edition. Uh, would be the uh, the Pike. This is a 150 Pike uh, Boost, 15 by 110. Basically, new tires, uh, new rims. Had to get for this. Um, thinking about now, if if I had to change things over, I mean, I could have went with the Ledge Ledge One. Uh, saved a few hundred bucks here. Uh, going back up here, I forgot that I also have the Jessica, the 44, 44 out of 56, uh, tapered. So right down here we got that pike. Um, pike is hooked up to to some Maxis minions DHF. They're uh, 27 and a half by two and a half wide tire. If you look at it here, uh, for the most part up up around this area, right, I think right now I'm running about like 23 psi. 2023. Um, Hub-wise, we have the Novatec, um, 180 in the front, rotor, and going back to the four-piston, four-piston pi four here. So, uh, Pike-wise, I bought this used. Um, I love it so far. I think I'm going to add, uh, let me know if you guys want me to uh, do installation of a debonair. Uh, see if I can tell the difference or not. The only thing I had an issue with here was when I bought this used, I don't know why, the previous owner decided to put it on the other side compared to the side where I can read the the sag here, but so be it. I'm not going to change everything out until I get parts for it here. Moving down here, back to the frame. It's a 17-inch 17, 17, 17 frame, I believe. Um, thought about getting rid of, of Mongoose here and just... Um, you know, keep it all gray here, but um, I haven't yet I haven't decided yet. I, I do want others to go out there and say, wow, it's a it's a big box bike. So uh, looking at the rear suspension, the rear suspension here, I got the DNM. Love how my kids um, put some Rock Shock stickers here. Uh, those came off of of. Uh, of stickers of decals I ended up getting for my uh, my front suspension here. Um, I had them stick around, so I go for it, throw it wherever, and they threw some on there. Well, I, I kind of forced them, but sure, why not? Nowadays, everybody's talking about how uh, everybody's getting nice bikes, but I've seen some guys out there who has, you know, who who have wonderful bikes out there. And it's just like wow. So moving on to the crank. That's the uh, the crank that came with the. The, uh, the bike here. Uh, move on to the back here. Going back up to the Advent X. So if I talked about that or not, <clears throat> it's a one by ten. 
uh, 11 by 51 tooth. Um, I did end up getting the uh, alloy one instead of the steel. I hear that the steel um, does last a bit longer, but it's a bit heavier. And, uh, and you guys all know that the, the Ledge X2 comes out pretty heavy out the box here. So um, here we got here is the Advan X. That sounds beautiful. I haven't had any chain slap. I don't know if it's because of of our wonder of how 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 great this uh, derailleur is, or either my chain slaps against this uh, race face uh, race face protector. So moving on here to the back, hub wise, I ended up picking up a WTB STPI one twenty three. I'm running. Uh, 27.5 by 2.35 on these tubeless. Um, and these right here are, are the Maxxis Minion DHR2. So that right here is pretty much my setup here. Going back up to the K KS. Uh, up to the KS Zopper. So. Let me know what you guys uh, want me to uh, do next. I, I do plan to take this out and do some rides and get back to you guys on this here. But here's the setup. I think all said and done. Um, I ended up spending about seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars for the whole setup here that I have going on right here. Um, would I do it again? I don't know. Let me know. Should I have recorded all the uh, the upgrades? Yes. But till then, take care.